What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will start adding the logic to our main program. So what we are going to do is check the quantity input if it is empty or uh, you know less than the value that we have in the stock. For example we have 50 pence but the user is wanting to add like 60 pence then we should show an error saying oh my god there is less pence. So for that kind of stuff we will add to add to cart this button will have a command called uh, self dot add to card we can say just add to card button or I mean add to card command so we'll say define add to card self again arguments and keyword arguments for binding and stuff so at the card we will get the value from the quantity get the quantity value in from the database so quantity value self dot quantity underscore value is okay self dot quantity underscore e underscore e dot get so we are going to convert this into a integer so that we can make the comparisons and uh, what we can do now is also what, what also we can do is we can get a uh, name sp and stock actually we can get everything from this so for changing this we have id at index 0 and uh, name at index 1, cp at index 2, sp at index 3 and we'll get get stock okay let me just count again id is at number 0, name is at number 1 stock is at number 2, cp is at this, okay this is 4 stock is number 2, okay dot get stock if int of self dot get stock or we can do the reverse comparisons if if self dot quantity is greater than integer of self dot get stock let's say tinter dot message box dot show info not that many products in our inventory although if we check it in like the real world we don't need to keep it because in the real world people won't get items more than what is in the database so we don't need to check that so for example if we have five in the database we have five in the store so they won't add six so that won't make it a problem but for the sake of the logic of the program we are going to add this not that many products in our inventory else we'll say print working great okay let's test this mm -hmm. let's say 1 give it a 10 attribute has no attribute quantity of its quantity value Okay, we'll clear this out, run it again, number 1, we'll say 100, this is not that many products in our inventory, we'll say 10, it says, okay, working great. So what we can do now is, uh, okay, so this one error, let me show you. So this is not focused, so we need to have greater efficiency, so we need to focus this and whenever we search and we need to focus this quantity then we need to set this value the discount value to zero if we don't want to give any discount so first let's focus on this inter product input okay inter id id e self dot inter id e dot focus i think this is what it is 
Okay, as you can see, without even clicking here, it is setting its focus there. Search, and we will set the focus to quantity. Uh, okay, self dot quantity p dot focus. So there are two focuses, so you might think they will clash, but it won't because when the one focus first focus is working the other is not generated but when we click the button other is generated so it will focus on the other entry so it is focused here we'll say one then it's focused over there and we'll add the quantity so there are no numbers in the stock and done so for the discount we'll set the discount value to zero if we don't want to get discount insert zero end okay we will say one okay it's not working what does it say has no attribute insert did I insert in a label yes I did so it does not work that way it should be in the input or the entry as we may say it. so one search and okay this is the mistake here and I also get confused here I think there's error as well okay zero it's working right now so when we add to the card it should work so it is checking so we'll get the discount price and uh, wh what we need to do is we need to create a card like system because how will we know the customer is buying I mean like if a customer is buying two or three products then when we buy the one product then after generating for generating the bill and stuff it will be difficult so we need to create I mean there might be some easier way but I have come up with uh, this thing called creating a, a temporary list temporary list like sessions in web so temporary list like sessions so we will say products list is an empty list and uh, product price is an empty list as well product quantity is empty as well so whenever someone buys something they will get auto appended so whenever they press add to card button it will add to card it says working great and we will do something like we will uh, uh, we will uh, first append the item so we'll get self dot get name I guess get name dot append sorry that's just opposite of it I get confused in this we need to append this to the list which is a product list or products list we have to see it's products list products list dot append self dot get name and we'll say products price dot append okay we need to calculate the price first calculate the price self dot final price equals to equals zero so we'll say float Generally here we don't uh, work in like the floats while selling. It's just integers, you know. So float of uh, self dot quantity value times float of self dot get price, and we will append self dot final price. And for the quantity product quantity dot append self dot uh, quantity value okay that's it after that we will print to check products list print product okay price print product quantity clear so we'll press one and we are going to buy two add to cart so as you can see kitkat 60 because a single cost rupees one two cost 60 so we are going to search another product 
we are going to buy one of these and as you can see it is updated KitKat batteries 60 10 2 1 so it keeps on upgrading so we all again again do this 3 2 so it is updated again KitKat batteries sandals 60 10 1200 2 1 2 so it gets updated what we need to do is we will add another thing Mm, we'll get the ID self dot get ID. So why we need ID is uh, why we append uh, the transaction. We need a transaction table as well to keep the records of all the transactions. So we need the ID, and we will say product dot product ID product underscore ID is control C and we are going to append self dot this is the id get id okay so we are not going to print anything now so what we can do over here is we can create the this live sorry we need to update this live invoice so how can we do that? It's pretty simple. Okay, before that, we will say, we'll create a total. Sorry, we'll create it in the upper section, over in the, yeah, in the constructor. We'll add a total label, self dot total underscore L equals to label inside self or write sorry text equals to empty font is going to be area 40 blue sorry bg equals to light blue and maybe fg equals to white self dot total l dot plus x equals to zero y equals to six hundred first let's just test where it is appended it says light blue bz equals okay dfd total i think it's the good place okay now what we need to do is we need to get the cell dot get total equals to um, okay before that first to add the labels we'll say x equals to zero not x let's see x index equals to zero y index equals to zero counter equals to zero for self dot p in uh, products list every list is going to have the same length because each of them are updated at the same time so self dot p will create a label self dot temp uh, name temp name okay temp name label inside self dot write with the text is going to be string of self dot get name font equals to Arial 18 bold bg equals to light blue fg equals to white self dot temp name dot place x equals to x index y equals to it's going to be just below this mm, this one fill it later by the function ajax okay no not this one okay this one just below the 60 we'll add plus 40 means we'll start from 100 we'll start from 100 so which is uh, okay y index and we will copy this okay q 
QT. Okay, the X index needs to be just below this one. Okay, T quantity 300 and 500. Okay, 300 X index is going to be okay, 300, 0, 300. Mm, no, 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 no. I know what to do here. X is X index 300. X is always same, but the Y keeps on increasing. So, uh, Y index plus equals to 40. So we'll, we'll just create the self. So you'll understand everything once I show you. Self dot Y index self dot y index self dot y index self dot y index so get name get self dot quantity value self dot uh, that, that was a product I guess uh, final price yes self dot final price Okay, let's try. I think there will be some errors, but we have to try. Okay, KitKat 1, it is working. We'll do number 2. We'll buy 2. Batteries 2. So it is not working now. So it's showing, it is showing the error. Okay, I get it. We should not fill this by the string get name because it will only get the single value. For example, it is getting batteries and all that stuff. But what we need to do is we need to get a string of the list that we have which is a product list and it is going to be self dot counter and we need to up self dot counter I mean increase by one for iterating through each of them so for the next one we have uh, this is quantity products quantity self dot counter products price and uh, self dot counter okay I think it should work now so I'll say one I'll say two okay could get two sixty rupees it's working number two we'll buy three batteries three thirty rupees okay number four I'll buy one at a pen one ten rupees so that's it for today you guys for this video actually and uh, in this upcoming video I will teach you how you can show the total over here and uh, the given amount section, the discount amount as well. So we need to work on quite a few things. Also generating bail. So stay tuned for the next video.